And I know, and you know, and we know, we all know, the ghost that says smell, it smells so well, my nose. Hi guys, I am bringing to you a candle review on the 719 Walnut brand, and it's in the Scent Classic Flannel. Okay, so this is from the Fall, a lot of you know it's from the Fall 719 Walnut Avenue Candle Collection. They came out with uh, five or six, actually I think it was five candles in this specific Classic collection. Flannel, uh, Pumpkin Waffles, Caramel Cinnamon Roll, uh, spiced apple cider, and there's more autumn walk, uh, mahogany driftwood they brought back for this fall collection, but that was a scent that uh, was out before too, for the spring and summer as well. And I know I'm forgetting one. What's the other one? Oh, the the uh, pumpkin latte, that one. So, out of them all, this one was my favorite. You can see I've bought backups of it here. I really like the scent a lot. Uh, it is a beautiful blue-colored wax, and I'm going to show you here with one of the backups. Really nice. Uh, let's see if I can get a better. It's a really nice dark blue color. Very, very pretty color. And, yeah, I really like the scent a lot. Uh, when I read the scent description, it uh, caught my attention right away because there's patchouli in it, and that's unusual for a retail brand. So I read the description, and as soon as I opened it after reading the description, I fell in love with the scent. So I'm going to read the description really quick. It says, A clean citrus and juniper blend enriched with patchouli sandalwood and amber and I agree with that totally that's what you smell um, I'm not getting a bunch of citrus but it's that juniper and patchouli blend is what I'm mainly getting and then I think the amber is a little evident just because it's kind of it's slightly creamy it has a little bit of a of a creaminess to it but you know it's basically all about the sandalwood patchouli and then blending with that juniper very beautiful scent it does smell um, comforting. It definitely smells like a fall scent, in my opinion. It has that uh, just really warming feel. You know, juniper is one of those notes that you, it's stuck in any candle. It gives you a holiday or a festive type of a smell. It just does. It's one of those, it's a note that's used a lot in um, Christmas scents because it just has that festive smell, um, and then it, with a lot of fall scents too. I know a lot of leaves type scents, they use juniper a lot. It, it kind of gives you that like crisp, um, almost like a crisp leaves kind of a scent, and then also kind of give like a warming smell too. And especially in this candle mixed with that patchouli, it just is a winning blend in my opinion. So this candle, the smell is out of this world for me. It is very musky, so for me that's a plus. For some people that could be considered a, a huge negative, so you know it just depends on if this is your kind of scent or not. Now I will be honest, um, pretty much everyone that I run into or that I know in the candle community or the wax community, this is their least favorite out of all the scents. Um, you know, because mainly the scents are foodie, bakery, stuff like that. This is really the only one that's earthy, and it, it's really, really earthy, actually. Like I said, it's quite musky, so if you're not used to those kind of scents, it might be a little... um, might be a little unpleasant. It just depends on what you're used to. I mean, I love bakery scents and all of the other... To me, all of the other candles in this collection smelled incredible on Cold Sniff. I haven't melted any of the other ones yet. Or, I'm sorry, I've melted cinnamon, um, car the caramel cinnamon roll. I've melted that one, and that one is incredible, too. But just because of my scent profile, I guess, if you want to say it, I, I just like these kind of scents better. So this doesn't necessarily have a fuzzy smell to it, like a lot of these, like, cashmere sweater and uh, type 
uh, cotton, musky scents like that. They can kind of have like that kind of a vibe. This is more about the juniper and patchouli blending together to create a really warming uh, type of a smell, and it really does work. It smells incredible. So the brand is 718 Walnut Avenue. The scent is flannel, classic flannel, I'm sorry. Uh, this scent was out, I don't, I don't think they brought it out last year, but it was out the previous year, like when they first came out. Uh, the genre is definitely a musky, uh, festive blend. Uh, the season, the year, this is for fall 2015, and the collection, same thing, the fall collection. Um, the notes, I read you the notes, citrus, juniper, sandalwood, patchouli, and amber. And the size, these are 14-ounce candles. Okay, let's see. Where to purchase? You can purchase them at Walmart or on the walmart.com website. This is my, let's see, one, two, three, four, fourth burn of this candle. Um, totally clean burn, absolutely no tunneling. Um, this remind, what does this remind me of? This kind of reminds me of the other, um, you know, fall and winter cozy sweater kind of scents like, for instance, uh, Better Homes and Gardens, uh, Warm Autumn Sweater and uh, Warm Cashmere Sweater, very similar to like uh, Bath and Body Works Sweater Weather. The only thing is, is this one doesn't have that, that uh, brisk quality to it, like it doesn't, well, it doesn't have eucalyptus in it, basically, like all those other ones do. So this one is more of a really warming kind of a scent. It doesn't have that crisp coolness like those other ones do. So it is different, but I'm not going to lie. At the same time, when I smell it, it does smell like a, a really warm flannel sweater, shirt, whatever. Uh, the throw on this is amazing, especially for a $4.97 candle. Or is it four dollars and ninety three cents? Actually, I think yeah, four dollars and ninety three cents. It's an incredible throw. I would say out of five, for sure, four. Pretty good, very good. Yeah, actually. I would say out of five, it's probably like a four. For sure, a three and a half, maybe even like a four. It's pretty. It's up there, pretty good. Whenever I have this burning, I it definitely fills a room for sure. It's definitely room filling. If you have a big. Um, open concept like living room, dining room, kitchen area, you might want to burn more than one if you're expected to, you know, fill that whole area. I've been burning this consistently in my bedroom, which is, you know, just a smaller size bedroom, and it definitely fills the room and kind of like creeps out into the hall a little bit. So, yeah, again, the scent description I would say is just a really warming autumn fall scent that patchouli and juniper uh, mixing together is just amazing, in my opinion. It smells incredible. So, the burn on this candle is superb. Uh, I'm going to show you so you can see for yourself. Now, I burned a lot of these 719 Walnut Avenue candles, and I've never had one burn as clean as this one. So, not only have they improved them, but they in my opinion, it almost looks like they perfected them, because not only is the burn so clean, but the throw is amazing as well. And look at those flames. The wicks are just perfect. To me, they're perfect right now. They're dancing, but they're not smoking. They're definitely not, you know, puny or drowning or anything. They're, they're pretty, they're wicks that can hold their own, definitely. Now, what I mean by, um, better than the other previous 719 walnut candles that I burned, I've noticed that in the past, there's like residue that can build up, um, on the side of these candles as they burn down. It doesn't constitute, like, tunneling. It's not that bad, but just, like, a tiny bit of residue builds up on the sides, usually. Not with this one, so, you know, that's great. Um, I haven't trimmed the wicks. I do not recommend trimming the wicks on these this brand. Uh, I've noticed that they can do the puny wick syndrome if you do that, and, like I said, these wicks are perfect right now. This is probably my fifth burn, and I haven't trimmed the wicks, haven't had to do a cotton ball trick on this or anything. It's just been burning totally flawlessly. Beautiful, beautiful dark black and blue wax. And the traditional lid that says 719 Walnut Avenue. So yeah, for me, this candle is a winner. 
Uh, would I repurchase this? Yes, I definitely would. But as you can see, I have a couple backups here of it. Um, but I have a feeling I'm going to be stocking up on this. So, you know, especially when it goes on clearance here at the end of the hall, at the end of the season, I'll probably stock up on it. Um, it's just not a popular scent for most people. So I have a feeling that I, I don't have to rush out or anything, but, you know, I'll probably pick up a few here and there. It's definitely my kind of a scent. Like I said, very musky. But at the same time, to be honest, the juniper kind of gives it a little bit of a brightness, too, to be honest. So it, it is just one of those scents that I recommend just sniffing it on cold sniff, and you'll be able to tell if you like it. That's the other thing I've noticed, that what it smells like on cold is pretty much when you're, what you're going to get warming. Um, but it's even better warming because just everything comes together more, and it's more of a warming type of scent when it is burning. I actually so, never picked this up a couple years ago when it first came out because I kind of was a little bit of a candle snob and thought that these candles were crap. So I actually just started getting into them as of last year or so. And like I said, last year they didn't bring out this particular scent. Otherwise, I definitely would have gotten it. This batch this year is definitely throwing great. And the caramel... Um, cinnamon roll, one that I've already burned. The throw was even stronger than this one. It was definitely the 5 out of 5. So yeah, the 719 Walnut brand is definitely stepping it up. A lot of people say that they are comparable to Bath & Body Works candles. Um, you know, they're, they're good alternatives. I think that's the best way of putting it. They're good alternatives. And like I said, for $4.93 a candle that is burning flawlessly like this and throwing almost perfectly and being able to find it in a scent that, you know, I really enjoy. It's kind of hard not to praise it. You know what I mean? Okay, guys. Until the next time, smell well.